Good morning, everybody. This morning's mash shall be offered for Margaret and Kate, Mary Kate Latimer, James Lynch, and Susan Nagel Facetta. Father and Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Mother, mercy and love, most blessed Virgin Mary, with all my heart and all my affection, I take refuge in you, though I'm a poor and undeserving sinner. You stood by your most dear Son as he was hanging on the cross. Stand mercifully by me, poor sinner though I am, and by all the priests who today offer the sacrifice here in all our holy church. With the help of your gracious presence, may we offer a sacrifice that is right and acceptable in the presence of the Most High and Undivided Trinity. Amen. O happy man, St. Joseph, to you is given to see and hear the God whom many kings longed to see but did not see, and longed to hear but did not hear. Not only that, but you are privileged even to bear God in your hands, to kiss him, to dress him, and to watch over him. Pray for us, O St. Joseph, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, who has given us a royal priesthood, you found blessed Joseph worthy to, be, to hold your only son, born of the Virgin Mary, reverently in his hands and to carry him. Enable us, too, to serve at your holy altar with pure hearts and innocent lives, so that today we may receive worthily the most holy body and blood of your son, and may be found worthy of an everlasting reward in the world to come. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. My purpose is to celebrate Mass and to make present the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to the rite of the Holy Roman Church, to the praise of our all-powerful God and all his assembly in the glory of heaven, for my good and the good of all his pilgrim church on earth, and for all who have asked me to pray for them in general, and in particular, and for the good of the Holy Roman Church. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us joy and peace, amendment of life, room for true repentance, the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit, and perseverance in good works. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Behold a faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord set over his household. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, my Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us to give us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in, in your inexpressible providence were pleased to choose St. Joseph as spouse, the most holy mother of your son, grant we pray that we who revere him as our protector on earth may be worthy of his heavenly intercession. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Ahab set, sent to all the children of Israel, and had a prophet, and had the prophets assemble on Mount Carmel. Elijah appealed to all the people and said, How long will you straddle the issue? If the Lord is God, follow him. Baal, follow him. People, however, did not answer him. So Elijah said to the people, I am the only surviving prophet of the Lord, and there are 450 prophets of Baal. Give us two young bulls. Let them choose one, cut it into pieces, and place it on the wood, but start no fire. I shall prepare the other and place it on the wood, but shall start no fire. You shall call on your gods, and I will call on the Lord. The God who answers with fire is God. 
All the people answered, Agreed. Elijah then said to the prophets of Baal, Choose one young bull and prepare it first, for there are more of you. Call upon your gods, but do not start the fire. Taking the young bull that was turned over to them, they prepared it. They call and called on Baal from morning to noon, and saying, Answer us, Baal. But there was no sound and no one answering. And they hopped around the altar they had prepared. It was noon. When it was noon, Elijah taunted them. Call louder, for he is a god and may be meditating, or may have retired, or may be on a journey. Perhaps he is asleep and must be awakened. They called out louder and slashed themselves with swords and spears, as was their custom until blood gushed over them. Noon passed, and they remained in a prophetic state until the time of offering sacrifice. But there was not a sound. No one answered, and no one was listening. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come here to me. When the people had done so, he repaired the altar of the Lord that had been destroyed. He took twelve stones, the number of tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the Lord had said, Your name shall be Israel. Built, he built an altar in honor of the Lord with, these, with the stones, and made a trench around the altar, large enough for two measures of grain. When he had arranged the, the wood, he cut up the young bull and laid it on the wood. Fill four jars with water, he said, and pour it over the burnt offering and over the wood. Do it again, and he said, and they did again. Do it a third time, he said, and they did it a third time. The water flowed around the altar, and the trench was filled with water. At the time for offering sacrifice, the prophet Elijah came forward and said, the Lord God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel, and, I, and that I am your servant, and have done all these things by your command. Answer me, Lord, answer me, that this people may know that you, Lord, are God, and that you have brought them back to their senses. The Lord's fire came down, and consumed the burnt offering, wooden stones, and dust, and lapped up the water in the trench. Seeing this, all the people fell prostrate and said, The Lord is God. The Lord is God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. They multiply their sorrows who court other gods. Blood libations to them I will not pour out, nor will I take their name upon my lips. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. O Lord, my allotted portion and cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Teach me your paths, my, my God, and guide me in your truth. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, 
Do not think I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. I have not come to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of the letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we see in our first reading the prophet Elijah, the founder of the Carmelite order, challenging the priests of Baal and showing who is the true God. And we see that Elijah calls the northern kingdom of Israel back to its, the faithfulness of its covenant, which is violated through the sin of idolatry. And through this showdown on Mount Carmel, and through the faith of the prophet Elijah and the power of God, God manifests himself to Israel, showing that he is the one true God. We give God worship by the way we live our life. Not just by going to church, although that's a huge part, but by the way we live our faith in our life, the way we allow our hearts to be ordered. And when we put other things before the Lord, when we do not honor the Lord with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, we fall into that sin of idolatry in a way that the northern kingdom fell into. This idolatry can be addictions. It could be not only involving occult activity, worship of false religions, but it could also be involving smaller things such as addictions to drugs, alcohol, sex, food, technology wanting to be the center of attention. But the Lord wants to free us from that. It's when we embrace the mountain of faith every day that we, and we fight the good fight with the Lord in faith, that he gives us the grace that we need to, to enter into the victory that Jesus won over sin through faith. With the dousing of water of the bull and the consuming of it by fire, by the power of God, we see images both of baptism and confirmation. Images of the Holy Spirit manifesting the Lord's presence. In that, we see that God gives us what we need to fight the good fight of faith, to win, to allow him to enter into the victory over sin that he won for us on the cross. Somebody who trusted in that was St. Joseph, as well as Our Lady. And on this Wednesday, we honor St. Joseph with a vote of Mass. Wednesdays are days that the Church asks us to pray to St. Joseph. So we pray through his intercession that through the Eucharist and our spiritual communion with our Lord, that Jesus may heal our hearts and that he may send the grace of the Holy Spirit to transform us, to sanctify us, to, to empower us to fight the good fight of faith against sin, against evil, and so be fully received into the grace, his loving embrace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we prepare to offer the sacrifice of praise, O Holy Father, we humbly ask to be sustained in our service by the prayers of St. Joseph, whom you call to watch like a father on earth over your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and in honoring St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who is conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, heaven of the virtues of heaven and blessed seraphim, worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant your peace to God, united and governor throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all those who hold them to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, for they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living in truth. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious of the Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers and all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and count among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven, <clears throat> to you, O God, as a mighty Father, give me thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them, as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, and the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Bless also your servants who, those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. And bid us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and be so them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. At your feet, O oh my Jesus, I prostrate myself, and I offer you repentance of my contrite heart, which is humbled in its nothingness, and in your holy presence. I adore you in the sacrament of your love, the most holy Eucharist. I desire to receive you into the poor dwelling that my heart offers you. While waiting for the happiness of sacramental communion, I wish to possess you in the Spirit. Come to me, O oh my Jesus, since I, for my part, am coming to you. May your love embrace my whole being in life and in death. I believe in you. I hope in you. I love you. Amen. Well done, good and faithful servant. Come share your master's joy. Let us pray. Restored by these life-giving sacraments, Lord, may we live for you always in justice and holiness, helped by the example and intercession of St. Joseph, who in carrying out your great mysteries, served you as a man just and obedient. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning, weeping, and valley of tears. To that most gracious advocate. And eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Come into our loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, most holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and our strength, look down with favor upon thy people, crying to thee, through the glorious intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of St. Joseph, her spouse, of thy blessed Apostle St. Peter and St. Paul, and all the saints. In your mercy and goodness, hear the prayers that we pour forth, for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him and humbly pray. And be thou, Prince of the Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the souls. Amen. O Sacred Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. O Sacred Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. O Sacred Lord Jesus, have mercy on us.